so today I am going to be filming a tag and I did this because I was like I really don't have an actual set video and I really want to make one obviously because I'm making a video every day in April and so I thought why not do a fun video that feels like you know really really just fun and like not serious you know so we can just like be together like as if you know we were just hanging out so I felt like um, you know, I wanted to get a tag that you guys can better know me. So I picked the throwback tag and I have a bunch of questions written over here and I'm just going to answer them and let's just have fun. Like I'm ready. Okay. So let's just get started. Number one, what year were you born in? I was born in 1996. So I guess that's the big secret. Um, so you guys can do the math, but that was the year I was born in. So I guess, uh, I don't know if you would call that a 90s kid. I don't think it necessarily you would. It's very late 90s. I was only alive for four years in the 90s. So what am I really doing? But that's, I guess you could say that. Um, number two, do you have any pics of you from when you were younger? If so, show them. I do. And uh, I am going to insert those photos now. Um, these are just photos from various times throughout my childhood, um, embarrassing photos from my childhood, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, number three, what TV shows did you grow up watching? I had a set, like, I, I've always been the type of person, like, I guess you can say a creature of habit. Like, I, you know, I've always loved things and, like, been obsessed with things. And those things I'm obsessed with now, I just, like, they're things that I, I grow, like, an obsession with. And then I don't, you know, stop loving. So, number one, Spongebob. I think everybody loves Spongebob. But I literally was obsessed and uh watched it then and still watch it now that's something that is just like so me um other things I really liked when I was younger that I still like now like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is one of my favorite shows as of now and I used to watch it all the time when I was younger and especially with my mom we used to watch it together and like she used to come home from work like really late because she was a cocktail waitress and she used to come home like in the middle of the night and we used to like watch it and we'd sing this theme song together and it was like fun. And then um, I've always grown up watching Friends because my uncle used to watch it and uh, that was just like always on and so grew up with that. My own little things, I was a huge Full House fan, like still am, I love it. And like Fuller House, a new one that's coming out on Netflix, oh my god. Can I just say, can we talk about that for a minute? Like, who else is excited? I know I'm excited. I've seen every episode of Full House. It was my jam, my favorite thing ever. Um, what else? I, I like a lot of TV shows um, that I was just, like, obsessed with. Um, nothing is coming to me right now. Uh, Crash Box. I don't know if many people know Crash Box. I don't think it's that, like, popular of a TV show. But it was on uh, HBO, HBO Kids. And right now they just have, like... Um, reruns of it but it was like this learning show and the best thing ever like that is like quintessential childhood thing for me because that was just like I loved it like it was the best show ever um yeah probably a lot probably a couple more but these tv shows like I grew up with they were my favorite when I was really really young like the Teletubbies that was like my show and I was like a young 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 child but yeah I like a lot of TV shows. Um, what did you want to be when you grew up? And do you still want to be that? Um, ever since I was young, I've always wanted to be like, okay. I wanted to be like a singer, a dancer, an actress, a model, like all those things combined. Like when people ask me, I, I usually, I would list all those things. Like I pretty much wanted to be on Disney Channel because everybody on Disney Channel ends up being like everything, if you know what I mean? So that was really what I wanted to be. And do I still want to be that? Yes. Um, if you guys know me at all, I really want to do something in that realm of 
things, you know, I really, um, want to do something like that. Obviously, I kind of want to go into a fashion-y thing, but I, you know, of course, I want to be, like, an actress. I want to be all those things. That would be super cool. So, yeah, I would totally say that's what I want to be now, but it has changed a little bit. Um, next question. A uh, fave toys you used to play with? That's difficult. I played with a lot of toys. Um, Polly Pockets. Those were, like, some of my favorite things when I was really young. Um, of course, Legos. I think everybody used to play with Legos and still, do still does. Um, I, God, that's hard. I played with a lot of toys. I would just, like, buy random toys. I was never a huge doll person. Like, actual, like, doll. Well, I, I did have a lot of Bratz dolls, but I wasn't, like, too into that. Well, I guess I was. I don't know. But, yeah, I had a bunch of toys. Um, most embarrassing thing that you can remember happening to you. Um, that's kind of, uh, that's super easy because I still have embarrassing things that happen to me on the daily, probably hourly. Um, I think my whole entire childhood was an embarrassment. I, like, I love it and it's something that I look back on all the time, but, uh, pretty much, like, so many things, so many stories. I one time went to school and I didn't wear any underwear and I was really young. And that was probably the most embarrassing thing that I've ever done. Um, also, one time when I was in, like, uh, middle school, or I would say, like, fifth grade, my mom came to my open house, and she was wearing a wig, and I cried. Um, I literally, like, went outside in the playground, and I sobbed, and they were like, Chelsea, what's wrong? And I was like, my mom is wearing a wig, and I was so embarrassed. Like, it sounds really silly, but... It, you know, thinking about it, that was the most embarrassing thing ever. Because, like, I don't know why my mom was wearing a wig to my open house. Like, that. I, I cried. I'm not even kidding. I was sobbing. Um, what else? Read something you wrote when you were a kid. That's kind of hard because I don't really have anything to really say. Um, I, I would just write, like, super random things, like stories. I... Okay, I had this one thing that I wrote when I was really young. And it was for my sister. Her sister was kind of... My, her sister my sister was having her friend come over to the house and so like I wrote a list of rules like house rules and they were the most like random things ever but to this day we all we have it and we still love it this little thing that I, I had like laminated I was really serious but I was like really silly and stupid I was like a child making this list of silly silly things and we still love it to this day because it's hilarious like I'll have to um, have it make a little bit of a cameo in one of these videos but that was pretty much the best thing ever. Um, songs you listened to. I, when I was young, I really didn't have, like, my own, um, uh, music taste, I think, developed. Um, now I think I have my own, like, music taste. Like, my, you know, seriously my own that I love by myself and that I discovered by myself. But when I was younger, I would listen to everything that my family was listening to, my sister's. Um, I come from a very musical family, you know, all my people in my family, very, very, very into music, so I just grew up listening to whatever they were listening to, so, um, my dad, we used to always, like, this I can totally remember, we used to always listen to Who Let the Dogs Out, like, that was our favorite song that we used to sing together, also, we used to sing TNT by ACDC, and those were, like, our songs, like, we... We would sing those all the time, but, uh, you know, everything else, uh, was just music that I would listen to from my family, and my family, there's, it was tons of random music, but, you know, just, like, things that I remember growing up with that, you know, I think I still, you know, listen to to this day, you know, it wasn't anything totally different from the music that I listen to now, so, um, yeah, pretty much those two songs, though, were, like, childhood memories for me, because I would just listen, I would sing those songs all the time. Um, uh, what was a Halloween cost? a funny Halloween costume that you remember? Um, I think, if you guys know me, I am w totally one for funny Halloween costumes. I'm not, like, a huge, like, sexy Halloween costume person or anything scary. Like, all my costumes are very ridiculous. Like, I was a toilet one year. I was Michael Jackson one year. I, I always remember being a banana, but... Everyone says I wasn't. Like, I remember being... I think either I was an apple and my sister was a banana. But everyone tells me that was a dream. But guys, I think it really happened. Um, pretty much everything I was was very... F 
funny. You know, it wasn't anything serious or anything else. But I think the toilet was probably the funniest costume that I was. Um, a funny story from your childhood. Uh, it's always so difficult because I... I mean, there's so many different things. Definitely those that I mentioned before are funny uh, childhood stories. Um... You know, a lot of the things, like, I could tell you guys, like, funny stories, and you guys would think, wow, that's not funny, or that's, like, terrible, but, like, they're inside jokes between, like, our family and stuff that we think are funny, but I'm sure, like, it would be different, like, for you guys. Like, I remember one time I was in Hawaii, and I was on a bus, and the guy was the craziest driver I have ever seen in my life, so I was sitting on, like one side of the bus and then he like made a stop and I seriously flew from one side of the bus to the other side of the bus and of course I'm safe everything's fine but then like you know he stopped at his house and I think he went to the bathroom I don't even know it was crazy but somebody would hear that story and be like wow like that's probably not funny that's really dangerous but for me like that was the most hilarious thing that's ever happened um you know there were just funny things that I feel like wouldn't come off as funny but for me you know, childhood memories that I love, but for me, they're funny. Um, do you have anything special from when you were a kid? Do you still have anything special? Um, no. I have, like, probably pictures and stuff that you could say, or I have, um, little things from school, like, uh, elementary school that I've kept. Um, you know, nothing like a stuffed animal or anything, but definitely, like, books that I have that I was a kid. Um, like, of picture books and things from when I was in school. And I love those, definitely. Um, something weird you did. Pretty much be me. Um, wow. I was a weird kid in school, always. Okay, um, one time I was in elementary school. I think it was fourth grade. And I, you know what, it wasn't fourth grade. It was, like, maybe even second grade. And I, I told... Okay, I, there was, like, a group of five of us girls, something like that, maybe even more. And I told everybody that I had won, like, this radio show. Um, it was Radio Disney, and I, I had won this contest that uh, we, were, we would all meet the Cheetah Girls, and we would <laughs> dance with them. I had this entire thing, like, planned out. Like, I was crazy, and I said, guys, I won this thing. We're all going to meet the Cheetah Girls, and we're all going to dance. And so... I ha we all practiced the dance moves from the movie, you know, just to, like, practice for when this was happening. Like, it was intense and serious. And then I told everybody that I didn't win, and uh, everyone was super mad at me, but that was something pretty weird that I did. Like, I told everybody we were going to see the Cheetah Girls, but that that's, that's like, me. That's classic me. I also, one time, um, I would get, like, erasers from the, um, like, prize box, and I would just sit there and, like count all these erasers and like you know crazy it was pretty really crazy like weird things that I would do as a child I don't even know the scariest thing that's ever happened to you as a kid um that's pretty easy one time uh, my dad was not home and it was just me and my sisters and um you know Zoe which is one of my sisters she was told to go clean upstairs <laughs> And, uh, she was cleaning, and there was, like, a gigantic spider, I guess, on the wall, like a daddy long legs, and she, like, all of a sudden, me and Tabitha, which is my other sister, we heard, like, screams from upstairs, like, and we found out Zoe was, um, just screaming about, uh, this spider, and that was just, like, super funny, and we saw her, and she was, I think she was crying, like, it was, it was funny, and also, one time I was at, uh, my friend's house and I was just sitting down and I looked down at the bottom of my foot and there was this gigantic cockroach on my foot and I screwed like that was the scariest thing um I've also had like little scary things that have happened uh I'm not gonna mention but yeah I've definitely had some scary things happen when I was a kid and the last question is how is the world different now from when you were a kid wow it is pretty different um I would say, uh, just being older in general has been, you know, it, it changes everything. Like you just, you know, the world, a lot of it is the same. Um, obviously so much of it has changed, but a lot of it is the same. It's just, you have a different outlook on life and you are more mature and you can actually like under, you can see what's going on with the world. Like as a child and why I, I love like kids so much and cause I, 
I do things which like that sounds weird I teach kids and so um, and that's what I want to do like I want to be a child psychologist I love children and mostly because you know it's just so like young and innocent and like they're such you know like they have such a view on the world like what I love is like you know you can find something that an adult would be like wow like who cares about that and a child would just see it and be like wow that's the most amazing thing and like creative and they just have so much life which as an adult I feel like you don't have and that's why I just I love that I love the innocence and like seeing the world as like beautiful um you know and, and when you're like I think when you're an adult you just like you see the world like as it is and not like blinded which is good in a lot of ways but um I just I think that's really like one of the best things in life is when you can like look at the world and just you know see it as kind of like this you know kind of have a, like a naive view of it but then obviously I also believe that it's it's great now um, being older and being able to see the world and actually like know what you're doing and not like get into bad things because you just know better um, so you know just being older is totally different than from you know that's a, a huge thing personally how the world has been different uh, as a whole um, I think technology has definitely evolved since I was a kid um, I was lucky enough I think to be born in a generation where we were already pretty evolved and uh, so many things were happening but you know things have definitely developed a lot since I was a kid you know so many different phones I mean like technology as a whole like it's so much different um, and everything like YouTube YouTube wasn't around when I was a child like it's it, you know things are just really really different at, now um, but it's good and I think that you know I really like what's going on you know obviously there are bad things happening but um you know just the evolution of when I was a kid I think that we are definitely getting better like we're developing better in certain areas so yeah that's kind of my answer to that question even though that sounded kind of crazy anyway that was my tag I hope you guys enjoyed I really enjoyed doing this tag I felt like it got you guys to know a little bit more about me and I kind of like that so if you guys have any other um ideas for tags or requests or any requests for any videos you guys want to see let me know that would be really really awesome um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up if you did so i'll talk to you guys later